All right, so I'm gonna continue with this, uh, what's supposed to be birch is the orange, but I realized um, looking at it now that it's, it looks more like a forest fire. <clears throat> and uh, I think I need to change that because it was not really my intention. I mean, it's just an illusion, not an illusion. It was because when you have like these yellow brush strokes slowly turning orange to red, I mean, that's kind of what we think of as a fire. So um, what I think I need to do is put like leaves in front. And the very, very first one I did, which was that really long one, I think it was a 48 by 72. I think I definitely had more like uh, patches of, of uh, leaves and even sky poking through. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. Plus, I think I'm going to do also, because um, the horizon is very low, like lots of horizontal bands of light showing through when I think that might add to the the depth of it that's kind of like my original one what I was doing I just need a tiny bit more caffeine and I'm all, I'm all set up too I don't know if you can see no you can't see well down here I got all my colors laid out it goes from yellows to oranges to reds I don't know, can you see that and then a couple of greens purples and blues and got my crate clean water and then off over down there, I've got like a assortment of brushes ready to go. So it kind of feels good. Over here, I've got an iPad where um, I'll try to get up like the Facebook so I can read your chats if anyone talks to me. And I got this like good mic. So that's my little studio setup. No, it's always like all optical illusions. Things close are much bigger. So this is a 30 by 40. I think you can see when I put my hand goes over here, it looks like it's getting so much smaller. That's just the camera has a wide field of focus, so field of depth. So it's actually a what, 30 by 40 canvas, so you can imagine what that'd be like. Okay. So, um, yeah, I've got a couple brushes ready here. Maybe I'll take maybe this one. Um, no, maybe this one. Yeah, nah. yeah, maybe back to this one. Okay. Hmm. So, like layers of of orange like these are going to be like leaves so i'll take this it's nice little orange i like this one right here hello hey cheryl how's it going okay pop here we go so hmm screw it So these are meant to be the leaves, which I probably should have done on the other, the last two paintings too, but the, it is what it is. So I'm going to go across this, because I think they have, you know, I can fix up that mistake there too. They have like, <clears throat> like sort of, um, I wouldn't say canopies, but out like this such a nice color it's an orange I've never really been into oranges before but for some reason really digging this so all I'm doing is sort of like 
I'm kind of like scooping it because the paint's really thick and uh, I want it to come off thick, if you can see those. Hmm. And maybe, yeah, they come at an angle, I don't know. Ooh, that's too thick. So this is what I like about that layering effect where I start off with one sort of pattern. If you followed me what I did yesterday, I did a wash of the whole thing in like a red and then a wash of blue and then green. And then I started going in with um, a, a brush with bigger brush, well, large, largish size, medium size brush strokes with dark. And then I came in with smaller brush strokes and different brush strokes like lines and curves and stuff. That's how I sort of built up a, a nice pattern or texture. Yeah, I think this will, this will make it much, this is going to change it from this horrible, horrible forest fire that's about to cannibalize and take you over into this um, kind of like, um, hopefully it's going to be kind of beautiful, like seen in a strange park. Oh yeah, on my Facebook, let's see if I can see Facebook. How does it work? I think I, just one sec, I'm, I'm over here. Seeing if I can see Facebook live streaming. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So I think I click this and now, ha. Huh. Okay, now I can see myself. Oh, I remember. The last time I did this, the volume is looping. I'm, I'm over here. Let me turn off the volume. Seeing if I can see Facebook. There. Okay. Now that's muted. It won't be some crazy loop. Okay. So Cheryl said, hello. Good thanks and you. Huh, see? That's so cool. All right. I look uh, like a giant fat bastard. I've noticed camera makes you look a little bit heavier than you really are. That's my excuse. So I can't play music because uh, Facebook um, doesn't let you do it. I I usually like listening to music when I paint, or I listen to podcasts. Um, but the past couple of videos, I Facebook was just saying either take it down or they automatically mute it. So I chose to automatically mute it. So there's a bunch of gaps where it's just quiet because it detected certain songs I was playing. Okay, so that's enough of this color. Or maybe it is. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'll bring even some down over here. Okay, now I'll try... What's this? <clears throat> this is a... Is this a different? Maybe it's the same color paint. No, it looks a little bit... It is the same color paint. Great, I got extra. Okay, so if that's the case, I'm gonna lop this off and I'll put this over here. Save it for later. Maybe I'll just take some of that uh, paint extra and I'll just glop it up here. Okay, then I'll try a different, this is kind of a, this is kind of a brownish color. This is like a, 
yellow ochre. Ochre? Ochre. And I'm going to try putting it like under some of these yellow strokes to kind of create an impression of a shadow. Let's just, let's just see what happens if I do that. nice thing about painting over it is I don't like doing like perfect lines it really bugs me so whenever I paint they're always like kind of shitty and, and imperfect but not imperfect in a good way like down here kind of ugly so what I'll do is I'll just I'll just paint over it save myself the hassle of trying to fix it up like right over here yeah I'll just cover up that mistake with some of these leaves Oh, my mom is watching. Hey, mom. Mom, do you know how to type in the little chat box? You could say hi. <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. That's kind of freaking me out a little bit. It says Sandy Druckmann is watching. My mom is watching me. So mom, what I'm doing right now is, is I realized that uh, it was looking too much like a forest fire. So I'm, I'm going to go back to the original one that I did, which was a lot more, um, like there, there were leaves. So I'm adding like these kind of leaves. Now let's try, let's try this orange, it's a darker orange. I have to step back to see. Yeah, it's already making it much more. It's already taken down the that huge force fire effect quite a lot. right in front of those oh shit my um, iPad just died oh well oh, it doesn't matter I think it's just the battery no biggie Is a nugget. Turns out my dog is actually a pretty good guard dog. She was like, even the littlest sound, she like, what's that? And she's uh, gets all suddenly turns into alpha male from gentle. <clears throat> Cute girl. <coughs> See? <coughs> what is it, Nugget? This is like barely even the smallest sound.
There's nobody there. It's okay. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Yes, you're a good girl. <laughs> That's not her scare. That's not her growl sound. That's more like, what? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Where's your growl? Where's your growl? Let me hear your growl. Okay, it's helping a bit. I think. Okay, baby. It's okay. I think it's important to hide a bunch of these prominent branches to make it feel like <clears throat> they're all over. Okay. I'm not going to go down here just yet because I want to. Um, I still want to play with the background. Still want to work on that a bit. Am I close to this camera? I don't even know. That's turning back on. Hello, iPad. Welcome back. What about some I'll try a uh, red? I don't know. Birches don't really have red. Maybe I should go light on the red and put it more. Um, yeah, I'm gonna chill out on this red. It's just probably too intense. I think I'm gonna go. With a lighter yellow. Yeah, I actually have. Some, oh, this is a nice, this one might be perfect. Well, I've got a couple of yellows. You gotta be careful with yellow. Yellow can come across too minty. So, lemon yellow and cadmium yellow. So, let's just try the, I got a feeling the lemon yellow, yeah, it's just too, too bright. So what I have to do is mix it up. Okay, so put some on palette here. And what I have right here is just the remnants of a white tube. I just want to use up as much as I can. So I'm just gonna put that bit of white and let me just start mixing this yellow and white together. You can see that. Until I get, hmm, that's kind of nice. I'm looking for like a, a warm yellow, but not, not too bright. So this is, that's kind of a nice color. 
I think that'll help a lot. Yeah, that's kind of perfect. All right, so what I'll do with that one is maybe I'll bring it on top of where those other light colors were. And the goal is to make it feel like a, just light is hitting the top of these clumps of leaves. As I'm doing this, I'm, I'm trying to think of like what I could do a little differently because uh, what I'm finding myself doing is this just looks like impressionistic painting, which is nothing wrong with impressionistic painting. Impressionistic painting is nice, but I wonder if I could like make something more unique. Like as I do it, I'm thinking like, see how I just started, wait, is the camera even there? I started just doing like little curvy lines and swirls and I'm thinking you know maybe is there a certain style of brush strokes I could do that's going to make it unique because um, you you know you never want to be just doing like anybody else like even though you know clearly you could tell I'm not like copying something but it's beginning to feel a bit like Pissario or um, is it Pissarro? Um, I'm not that crazy about um, So I guess that's kind of why I was when I was doing making it look like a fire it kind of felt like more abstract and more like an emotional idea as to, as opposed to you know going out and photographing something and then just reproducing it in paint. I always want to feel like you're <clears throat> you're doing something unique if possible. Let me step back to work. Okay, it's uh, it's definitely transforming it, isn't it? it makes me want to almost go back to the other ones and change them but you know what maybe I'll just leave it I guess that's what maybe <clears throat> why I kind of like doing things in a series you can sort of see how it evolved a bit because sometimes you just want to keep on working on something and sometimes it's best just to stop so that's probably why okay that's why I'm not going to go back to the other you know two three and four and add more of these brush strokes just because they'll be like an evolution you know they they evolved from this <clears throat> to becoming like a forest fire and then back to this which is what it was intended to be which is a simple idea of, of the idea of um birch trees which i love um with like a fall orange bursting everywhere I gotta go stand back, take a look. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. It needs a bit more. Needs a lot more love around these things. Maybe big. A couple of big brush strokes might be interesting. And I kind of have to like get them in front of these big trees too. So it's looking kind of bare. Here, I'll just put. I won't even make them look like leaves. I'll just put like strokes of color, like cross hatching, maybe. Just mess it up a bit. Maybe that's what I need to do. Hmm. 
<clears throat> oh, I got it says Mel Yellow. Melissa says Melissa, yeah. And hey, Pilly and uh, Jenna. You guys. Now that I've been doing this live streaming for. Has it been a couple months? It's weird. I haven't painted alone in in quite some time, and it feels weird now. This is totally I feel like I, I have to do it. <coughs> I mean, think about it. I've been painting for thirty five years or so alone, and then all of a sudden, I'm inviting total strangers to be close to me, which is a really creepy feeling because you never know. The good thing is I'm not, I'm not that afraid of people. I just like being private. It's weird. I'm not shy. I'm not even the slightest bit shy. I just like being left alone. Isn't that weird? People don't intimidate me in the slightest bit. I just like <clears throat> quiet. It's like there's a couple of times a couple of people have said some, you know, <laughs> insulting things to me on Facebook. And, you know, <laughs> I don't think they realize who they're talking to. I mean, I'm not I'm not the least bit afraid of confrontation. And uh, I can almost guarantee they would never say that to my face. <clears throat> but it was kind of fun. Stirs things up a little bit. <laughs> Okay. Now something. Hmm. I think a bit more yellow. I'm gonna try. I don't even know what this yellow is. This is so covered up. You know, I never, I never really go by name. Anyhow, most of the time, I just, I just go by look, right? I just find something that looks good. Excuse me. Okay, this is very yellow. But it's, 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 I think it's perfect. Yeah, that's a nice, nice yellow. Oh, I'm going straight with that. Why not? This is where it becomes a little bit impressionistic because this is, you wouldn't find this yellow. Oh, now it's turned a bit muted because I've been mixing it. I think I need more of that yellow. Oh yeah, the one that has no name. Step back a bit. Something isn't quite right. Maybe it needs like a bit of that. Yeah, I think that's the ticket. I'm gonna draw some lines across. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that helps a lot, actually. That's pretty. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of too many um, dots. 
else. It needs some something else to like. Look at that. That's kind of cool. I knew I'd figure it out. It's just a matter of time. Careful not to cover up too much of the under undercoating. I mean, sorry, the the actual branches and stuff underneath. Maybe I'll make it a little crazy. Maybe I'll make it a little bit. Maybe I'll mess it up a bit. Yeah. Maybe I'll make it drip a bit. So I just put some extra water on here and let let some of the drip lines come down. Watch. I'm just gonna. Think about think about some green. Let's think about some green. Like what I'm trying to say is like if there was the ground, like light. I'm gonna do this. Oh, I could even have dark green in here. Yeah. Like as if it's Kind of some sort of okay. Um, brush. <clears throat> I need a quick drink of coffee. Green, right? All right, so I'll try this green and I'll need some I have a brush here. Let's just take this green and mix it in here. Looks too bluey, so I'm gonna add some yellow. Bluey, that's a new word. Okay, so it's kind of this, some kind of um, green. And let's just see what happens when I try doing a, it's like light. Light coming down. <clears throat> Maybe there's more of this light here. And then maybe there's like, a, I don't know, like some 
Oh, why not? Let's try that. It's a very earthy color. That just happened to be on my brush. I'm not crazy about it. But let's just go with it. Trying to resurrect this purple. It's not too dried up. What about is there something there? How about this blue? Yeah, I can get that blue back. So making shadows around the trees. Trying to make interesting light. Try not to uh, make it perfect. Right, don't have to try very hard actually. <laughs> um, now let's go back to that light. <clears throat> light green, which means some white. And why don't we make it pretty shocking green? Let's make it a shocking green. So as if there's real strong light off in the distance. Oh, I don't know if you can see where I'm mixing. Okay. Let's try that. Let's try. Hmm. Not that shocking, is it? Hmm, not really doing what I was kind of hoping for. But let me just uh, let me just screw around a little bit more. <clears throat> so 
something I've been playing with not too long ago is this kind of a uh, very loose drippy and I, I really dig it. So I just basically put, I load up, I don't know if you can see that, I load up uh, a bunch of water and I just sort of like <clears throat> let it flow down. things are but I'm gonna just add some of them in here just to make it interesting is the next question what do I what am I gonna do next What should I do next? I'm not quite sure. I am talking to myself again. <clears throat> I need a little bit more of this orange down here. Thank you very much. You feel like they're just sort of floating. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> it could be about break time. Let me just step back, take a look. Let's see how it's coming along. Hmm. So the question is. What do I do up here? I could do sky poking through. Let's just do that. Let's just not even think about it. Let's just do this. Get some blue. And... Let's just make some patterns, yeah. I think that's that's what I want to do more. Is is not try to recreate reality. Just sort of just sort of like look like who knows what the fuck if this is real or not. Who cares? Let's see how that looks. That's not bad actually. That's not that bad. Yeah, like I think some of my favorite artists, I think that's what they do. Like Van Gogh's the easiest low hanging fruit to explain where all those brush strokes are, you know, very similar. He only does like about three or four different brush strokes. Um but he's so consistent. It's immediately recognizable. 
I mean, like Gustav Klimt too. His so a lot of his brushstrokes are pretty recognizable. He's a bit more meticulous, and he's much more design focused. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Sometimes I just say things because I'm, I'm just focusing on something else, which is the painting. Like, what if I put strokes like that? Why not, right? Like this, and just let patterns come up. Maybe there should be some poking through here. Maybe some poking through here. How about a little bit there? Maybe it's a bit more blue. Okay, let me step back to the look. Yeah, that's kind of nice. This is still crap right here. Um, looks marvelous. Thanks, Cheryl. <sighs> well, I got a feeling I got to take a break. I got a feeling I should just chill out for a minute or so, which means I'm going to keep on working for about five more minutes. Oh, that's a good idea. I got it. Haha, -ha, I know what I need to do. I need some beautiful white to come into here. That'll save the day. some of this blue from my paintbrush. What I'm doing is I'm just sort of adding uh, <clears throat> texture. I'm adding some white, which is picking up some of the colors that have already been painted. And adding it on. So Hopefully the effect is like light being picked up and bouncing off the branches. Okay, which this one's important. I know Nugget. I'm oh, coming. I gotta take my dog out. She's getting a little anxious. She needs to go play. Oh 
man, I'm all sweaty and gross. <clears throat> I'm going to have to come back and work on this later. <sighs> I think it's good. Good enough for now. Very important, I find it, to uh, step back. Don't rush it. Come back to another time. Okay. Okay, that's good. Good enough for now. Okay. So let's do a quick close up and then I'm gonna go take a break. So what did I do? What did I do? Well, I added a lot of like leaves. So the forest fire is no longer the prominent kind of idea. It's hopefully now leaves. So the bottom, I uh, down here added a kind of like, hopefully like depth of, with the, the light green. Um, I just added some, some thickness to the main trees, but the, obviously the biggest thing is, is adding all those leaves layers and I decided to try adding some sky coming through at the top. There we go. Um, what I still think I should do, bring the camera down, I still think I need to create kind of like canopies of leaves, okay? This still looks a little ugly here because they're just sort of floating. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna do lines coming across, we'll see. Um, I definitely want, I think the sky is maybe a good idea, so I might bring down some more of it. And I think it'd be helpful to have darker darks here. So it, you know, creates a bit more sense of depth. Anyhow, that's, uh, that's enough of this one for now. And thanks for watching.